Okay, this how-to video is going to show you uh, the constraint manager feeding back information to, to PCB editor. And it works on kind of a traffic light system, but let's just set up a, a, a simple total etch length rule. You can see I've got a length rule here, then I've got a minimum length of 95 millimeters and maximum length of 100 millimeters. So if I go to the, the total etch length uh, net display and I'm just going to apply a rule to this, this data bus. You can see straight away, it's going to give me the minimum length, the actual length, and then the margins. But, so I'm eating the, the length, they're all, they're all shorter than the longest net at the moment. But it's giving me kind of a traffic light system feedback. So if we just iconize the constraint manager away, you can see I'm getting some DICs here. So I can then go and start to add some delay to these um, to get an idea of how much I need to add. And I can work my way through uh, using the, the, the delay command to build up the extra delay that I need to add or the extra length that I need to add to these tracks to meet the constraint manager rules. I'll just try and build this up on this one. There we go, we're getting the green traffic light. So if you think about the constraint manager, you can see that this constraint manager values will actually start to update based on the values inside PCB editor. 